sorry. sensor and that's reading 2.7 and that's reading 3 so that, that's taking the temperature at the top of the milk here and the other sensors down the bottom so it's probably going to need to stir for 5 minutes 10 minutes for it to uh, level out and um, they're not going to be exactly the same anyway but yeah that, that kind of confirms that the problem is this old box and you see that water damage on the board there oh yeah we've got some sort of dark crap there so I've had them before where they've got mold and fungus growing in there it kind of shorts everything out oh, well. guess we found something right, the other thing that can do cause that problem is if, if the paddle stops uh, when it's cooling. So we check the capacitor and that should be 5, it's reading 3 point. It's not too bad, well it's pretty bad. It's not bad enough to stop it. Um, but we'll change it anyway. Um, let's see if we can get that one on there. 4.9 this meter always seems to read a little bit lower than the other ones. It's five, plus or minus five percent. So get that changed. Just need to be an idea. Right, that's the new one. Um, that's the old one there. Quite easy to change. Um, it's just plugs. You've got two flying leads off the board with a plug on each. Um, and you've got one with three or four wires and one with a load more, so it's fairly obvious where they go. And you can't plug them in the wrong way around. And then there's two jumper, four wire, four way plug, I think it's three, might be four wires, that joins the two leads together on the temperature sensor. Um, so we've got to program it now because it doesn't know what it's fitted to. Yeah, we'll have to have a look in the book and uh, put all the settings in there. It's all I like with the SRAP stuff. If, you, if they change something you get a, a instructions of how to take the old one off, put the new one on, all the points you'd need, like we were saying about the cables and everything. And then, uh, you know, basically step by step, turn the power off, how to take the old one off, Let's take the wires out, so on and so forth. And then all your programming um, parameters. So they do make it easy, even if you've never worked on one, if you've never seen one of these things, you could change that really easily just following the instructions.